Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. This is David Locke, and this is my blog, Boots and Bowties. And today I'm going to teach you to make one of the simplest things I know how to make. When I was in my 20s and I had my first apartment, I needed something that I could make essentially before I went to work, put it into the refrigerator, then pull it out of the refrigerator, let it come to room temperature, put it in the oven, and then have a great meat I could serve for company. So what I've done, I've taken my pork tenderloin, I've washed it, I've got a Pyrex dish, I'm gonna spray a little bit of canola oil on this just to make cleanup easier, because we're gonna use honey. Then I'm gonna take my tongs so I don't have to rewash my hands, and I'm gonna put those in my Pyrex dish. And then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply sprinkle this with a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna sprinkle it all over. Basically what we're doing is we're making a rub. And we're gonna let it marinate in this rub. Then we're gonna take a little bit of sea salt and we're just gonna sprinkle our meat with our sea salt. Then we're gonna take some fresh cracked pepper. We're just gonna kinda of coat it with this. It's not hard. These are ingredients you should readily have. Then, my secret ingredient anytime I make pork is cumin. And cumin, which is kind of a Cuban and a Caribbean spice that you see, sometimes you also see it in Indian cooking, brings out that wonderful porky, oinky, hammy goodness in um, ham. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of sprinkle fairly liberally a good bit of that cumin on top of our meat. And then we're going to flip that over and we're gonna repeat it. So we're gonna take our sea salt, we're gonna just sprinkle that on there, fairly liberally, and probably use in maybe two teaspoons for the whole recipe. Then we're gonna take a little bit more of that garlic powder. This is about a teaspoon for the whole recipe, and on there pretty good. And then we're gonna take our cumin. This is about two teaspoons for the whole recipe. And we're just gonna kind of put that on there fairly liberally. And we're gonna go back with our salt and our freshly cracked pepper. And now comes the main ingredient. This is about six ounces of fresh honey and I'm just gonna drizzle that all over my meat. And I'm gonna let that sit in the oven or sit in the refrigerator rather, for uh, the entire time that I'm at work. You know, at least an hour you want it to sit in there, but if it can sit in there for longer, that's great. Then we're gonna let it come to temperature and we're gonna cook it for about 40 minutes at 300 degrees. We're gonna cook it half the time covered and half the time uncovered. Let it get a nice crust on it. Then we're gonna put our thermostat in it or thermometer in it, make sure uh, that the internal temperature is correct for pork. Then we're gonna let it rest, tin it for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna cut it into medallions and serve it with some of this sauce on the plate. I love to serve this with uh, butternut squash if it's fall. You can serve it with baked apples. You can serve it with um, uh, mustard whipped potatoes. And it's just so easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cover this with saran wrap, pop it in the refrigerator, let it sit all day. And then when I come home, we'll have dinner.